Hey everyone, I look a little rough right now. I just washed my face so it's extra red and I need to get ready and head out the door but I have so many new drugstore makeup products I want to play with. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do a full face first impressions. Those get really long and kind of complicated so I've done some other videos where I've tried whole new collections from a certain brand in one video and I will be doing some more of those. I have at least one to put up. So let me know if you like that, but today I think I'm just going to be trying two new products, so it's kind of like a mini version, they're not even the same brand. So I thought it might be helpful if you are into drugstore makeup or you just need some new face products. I'm trying a concealer and a foundation, and they are cruelty free from the drugstore, so they're very affordable. You can use coupons, they go on sale, all that sort of thing. And yeah, if you're pale like me, sometimes these things are hard, so hopefully seeing these colors on a face will help you guys out. I don't know, I thought it'd be fun, do a mini chit chat get ready first impressions of some new makeup and I'll be having a lot more videos where I try new products because there's so much out and I've been getting so much of it for videos so yeah let me know uh, like what formats you guys like or if you see new products all that sort of stuff so keep an eye out for that make sure you're subscribed so you know when those videos go up and you can even hit the bell notification which is awesome because then you know exactly the moment they go up you can be the first one and then you can type first in the comments and be the first comment and it'll just be really cool. You'll get a gold star. Wow, that was not in focus at all. Sorry about that. This camera just likes to work against me sometimes. So anyways, I'm gonna throw on some moisturizer because my face feels so tight, you know, and it's like clean and you're like, wow, I need to moisturize. So my moisturizer unfortunately is not cruelty free. It's just one I had before I decided to switch over and I've had this for months and that's all I've used. So ignore me. I'm this is my, gonna be my last bottle of this, even though I use it all the time. <sighs> Clinique, stop testing on animals, please. Feeling a little scatterbrained today, so if this is all over the place, sorry. <laughs> Hence the chit chat. I'm gonna be using my Miracle Complexion Sponge by Real Techniques to uh, blend in everything. So I should go wash and dampen this. Hang on. Even after you wash these things, they're always they're always stained. They still have products on them. This is the same for the Beauty Blender or any sponge, but it's just so annoying because I wash them for so long. All right, so now the tools are all ready. Let's get into the products we will be trying today. First is a new foundation. I've really been wanting to do a first impressions on this, even though it's been out for a little while, and I know a lot of people have been doing videos on it, but I don't know. If you watch my videos or you have a similar skin tone or skin type to me, then maybe it will be helpful for you to see how it works on someone with oily to combo skin with super pale skin and a lot of redness going on. Um, I don't know why I just slapped myself, but I actually tried this for the first time yesterday and I had a lot of thoughts, but I really wanted to show it on camera, do a demo of how it applies and everything, so I hope that's all right. Usually, like, my first impressions are genuine first impressions, but I ran out of all my other foundations yesterday and I had to go to work, so I was like, what do I have? Okay, this new one, I gotta go. So yeah, um, but this is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. This is the lightest shade in 01 Creamy Vanilla. I've heard a lot of people say that even the lightest shade's too dark for them. This is pretty dark. Like just looking at it, it doesn't look like it would work, but I wore this all day yesterday. And it's very different than my usual um, foundation I would wear. I just ran out of my It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better. So... You can see it's quite a bit darker than that one. This is in fair, but this was almost too light and pinky for me. And this one's more yellow undertoned. Um, I'm cool toned, so I usually go for the pinkier colors, but I want to get rid of the redness on my face. So it almost makes sense for me to use something a little more yellowy toned. I think it ended up looking okay. Pigmentation on this is really strong, and it kind of took me a while to blend it in. You have to really work fast or it will kind of set in one spot, like this area on my face the product would just stick to it and it was hard for me to blend it out. This is turning into a review, but that's what happened yesterday. So this says it has medium to full coverage. It did end up being pretty full on me. I'm used to like BB creams, kind of lighter coverage. So I was kind of taken aback, but I liked it. It was very different. It says it's lightweight in an oil-free formula, which is good for my oily skin. I had some oil kind of bust through on my forehead and make me shiny, but it didn't really separate. It could just got shiny. So usually when that happens, it will kind of break up. You can see my red like skin color underneath but it just kind of got shiny so that's good no redness i just blotted it and went on with my day um and it says it's long wearing water resistant and sweat proof i did like blow my nose a few times because i'm still getting over allergies and it would come off so it's not like completely it says waterproof if a tissue can take it off is it really 
So, Milani is actually a cruelty-free brand. If you look it up, they don't say it on their packaging for some reason. Um, but as far as I know, they are, so that's great. So I've been trying a lot more of their stuff. I usually kind of ignore them at the drugstore. I don't know, their display in CVS isn't super prominent, so I always kind of skipped it. But this is an ounce. You get a nice little pump on it, which I like with foundations. Mine was a little messy when I bought it. I got this at Walmart for like eight or nine bucks. I thought it was on sale for less if you watched that haul video, but it ended up not being, so whatever. That's still not too bad, and it was a little messy when I bought it. But the pump is a funky shape, so yeah, let's get started by putting this on. I think I used one pump at first yesterday, and that ended up needing two, but it comes out in kind of a little sneaky fashion. I just have a little on my sponge, and yesterday I kind of dabbed it all over different areas of my face, but like I said, it does kind of set quickly and you have to work quickly so um maybe that's not the best idea i don't know why i did it a second time but let's uh let's bounce the blender so i'm having a hard time getting it to stick to my nose and like right here which are the areas that kind of get the reddest that i want to cover up the most i don't know why Kind of bizarre. As you can see, it's quite different from my skin color. Um, like when I first put it on, it's like, whoa, <laughs> it's kind of shocking to look at. And for some reason, it gets more pigmented up here. I don't know if I'm just depositing more product up there. Um, I'm going to blend it down my neck so I don't get the dreaded foundation line. It's very weird to see my face this color. It's a lot more yellowy than usual, but you know, I don't hate it. <laughs> So that was all the product in that pump. I think I covered my face pretty good with that. Um, my cheeks just are not getting as much coverage. They're still kind of pinky. You can see weird little blemishes pop through. It blended in really nice. It looked really good when you first apply it. I was having some problems as it wore yesterday. Today I'm not going to be wearing it as long because it's almost dark outside already. But I do have a lot of places to go tonight. So I will give you check-ins about how this and the concealer when I try it wear throughout the day. It makes my eye area look really red in comparison to everything else. It does look kind of matte in most places. There's a little sheen on the top of my cheekbones and like on my forehead a little bit. So I am gonna set this with powder, but when you first apply it, it looks gorgeous. The coverage is pretty decent. And even though it blends quickly, then you get the whole process over faster. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I really hate putting on foundation. It's just so sticky and messy and just, ugh gets everywhere but I love it so I still wear it. It looks good around my hairline. Pay attention to that because yesterday when I wore that that's where it oxidized. It was really weird. Usually I'll get well not oxidized but dry skin started poking out even though I don't really have dry spots. It looked really flaky and gross. It was wearing kind of badly on me yesterday. Um, I had to keep an eye on it. It stayed in place but it would just give me so many dry spots on my face. So we'll see if that happened again. I had to use my, I have a moisture spray that you can wear over foundation. So I put that on. Hopefully that helped. I was just kind of hoping no one got too close to me. So like I said, I want you guys to see this on camera to see how it wears on me because I feel like people have been raving about this. And right now, I really like it. Right now I get it, but let's see how it wears. All right. Whew, enough of that. Next, I'm super, super excited. Guys, I went everywhere looking for this. Drugstores near me rarely have the new Wet n Wild stuff that everyone's been going nuts about. Um, Wet n Wild, you guys probably know, but they are cruelty free. A lot of their products are vegan. I don't know if this one says it is, but I was watching Jay Kissa's channel here on YouTube and this was in one of her favorites videos. She said it was similar to the Tarte Shape Tape, which made me need it immediately. I've been really wanting the Shape Tape because everyone raves about it. They say it doesn't crease and I've been having so many problems with foundation creasing, even with primers and setting powders. Just concealer hasn't been my friend lately but um said this was a lot like the shape tape I think she said it didn't crease and this was like five bucks or so so I finally found it went to a bunch of different drugstores finally found out this one place my shade was sold out so I waited a week and I went back and they had it so mine is in light ivory this is the latest shade I believe it's new it is their photo focus concealer corrector and this is from the line they have like the foundation and powder which I'm kind of interested in but I don't really need either of those things at the moment. Um, so but let me know if you want to hear about that from me. But this says it was tested under seven light conditions. 
it's, um, I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Like that's how they're marketing this, but I don't really care about that. It says it was tested with top smartphone models with and without flash, I guess so you don't get flashback. So that's good, but I've never had a concealer give me that. It's usually the setting powder. So I'm surprised they didn't have a loose powder with this collection because that's the only thing that flashbacks on me. They just have a pressed powder. Anyways, it says it instantly brightens and perfects appearance of skin, conceals blemishes, dark spots, and blemishes, gentle enough to use on the delicate under eye area. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Here's what it looks like in the packaging, and now I'm going to destroy it. Ooh, this is cute. It looks like the NARS packaging. It's just a little square, and it does say it is vegan. Hurrah! It says made in China, so feel about that how you will and it has 0.29 ounces in it so let's see what other concealers I have hanging around the Maybelline dark circle eraser is 0.2 so probably more than the average concealer so let's get started I'm so excited for this I really hope this is amazing because I need a good concealer wand looks normal concealer or lip gloss doe foot size i think the tarte shape tape has a giant one i don't know if i should use eye primer under my eyes because usually i do so my concealer doesn't crease i think i'm gonna try it without just so we know if it creases hopefully it's really good like the shape tape and doesn't i believe i finally found this at walgreens by the way they've been having a lot of new makeup that a lot of other drugstores don't have cvs didn't have it um although i did find a different cvs that was like giant if it's a giant cvs they might have it but right it didn't for me so hopefully if it's like the shape tape it won't crease on me i hope because i have places to be tonight so i'm gonna bring some powder with me just in case so if it does i can fix it but yeah let's get started i'm so excited please work please be amazing color match looks good it's like a pinky undertone cool tone very pale Lighter than the foundation I just put on. I'm just going to kind of do the triangle under my eye, which is what I usually do. And I'm going to blend it in with, I don't know, probably the little end of this and see how it goes. I really like some insane coverage of my dark circles. They're particularly bad today. It looks brighter. Probably the color's lighter so that helps brighten it up a little bit but I hope the coverage is decent as well like a thicker concealer that doesn't feel thick hey that looks pretty good they look brighter Ooh, that looks good I like that I'll know if it really works if I look in the mirror later today and I'm like wow I don't look extremely excited you know I usually have to like look in a bathroom mirror or something to really see how things look because in the filming lights everything looks a little better but they look pretty good considering how bad my dark circles are because I've not been sleeping much lately so that looks good so far I'm gonna set everything with some powder I actually have the Milani what is this even touch powder foundation in shell it's what I've been using lately so I'm just gonna dust a little bit of that over my face. If you're someone who likes to kind of highlight with concealer as well, I'm sure this would be good for that. It blended in really nice and smoothly. I don't really have any complaints right now. Um, worked pretty well. I'm sure once I watch this back, it will look different. So hopefully, whoo, excuse my dryer. That always makes me jump. So hopefully seeing it, you guys will be able to see how that applied. It worked pretty well. I think it looks pretty good. You can still kind of see my dark circles, but like I said, they're worse than usual. So, so far I'm impressed with everything. Foundation at this point looks good. My face is pretty much mattified, except for maybe a little shine up here that even powder won't cover. A little bit of redness is peeking through, but I like it. It's pretty matte. I recently used up my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. <laughs> mangled container i have a whole review on this this is a super matte foundation and i'm i like it but it's not cruelty free so i'm not going to get it again so hopefully this milani one will kind of be a cruelty free dupe of that for me so so far it looks like it will be so so far i'm happy it is 702 p.m i gotta run but I'm gonna finish up my makeup and I'll check in with you guys throughout the night to see how everything wears. At this point, it looks pretty bomb. Like yesterday when I first put on this foundation, I was pretty happy about it. I was a little nervous, I looked yellow, but I ran into my boyfriend, I was like, hi, how are you, does my face look yellow? And he's like, why would you do? No, you look fine. So apparently it's a good color match. I don't think, well, my neck is a little lighter, but I did blend it in. I don't know. It looks all right. You'll have to tell me in the comments. All right, see you guys later. Hi guys, so I haven't left yet. It's a few minutes later, I finished up my makeup, obviously. I just wanted to add that I just put on highlights, so 
This is still what it looks like, pretty much freshly applied. It's getting a little shiny up there. I guess that's kind of like a natural glow, but sometimes I just like super matte. Um, and I just want to show you guys the swatch on the back of my hand. It's really drying out my hand. It feels so dry there. And yesterday it was really hard to get off. You can see it's a little darker in that general area. So yesterday I really had to scrub it off with some Meissler water. Um, and yesterday I was having problems with it settling into my upper lip lines, which I never realized I have until I put on foundation. They always settle into those lately. Um, so usually I have to use tons of primers and stuff. So I already see them doing that a little bit. They're kind of accentuating them. It's not terrible, so I'm still happy with it at this point. And close up, the concealer still looks really good. It's not, like sometimes I get these light little dots around there and they get really emphasized when I put on concealer. It's not doing that. It still looks really good. It hasn't creased yet. And I did use a tiny, tiny bit of setting spray just out of habit. Um, I didn't really want to. I wanted to see how it would wear on its own, but Oops, I just picked it up before I knew what I was doing. So yeah, all right. Now I'll see you later. I'll check in as I wear this more. Wow, I didn't even take the powder with me like I said I was going to. So hey guys, what's up? So it's been almost six hours since I applied everything and last checked in with you guys. And it's looking a lot better now than it was yesterday at the end of the day. I think it's because I used yesterday the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer and that was like the very last bit of it. And that's really the only difference between yesterday and today. Um, so I'm surprised that it's doing so much better today, of course, now that I'm filming and showing you guys close-ups, that it would behave better. But I saw my best friend, she said the color looked good, and she'd be the first one to tell me if I looked orange or yellow. The color looks like kind of shocking to me. Like when I look in the mirror, I'm like, oh God, what's wrong with my face? But I think it actually is a pretty good match for me. I could see if you were really, really cool toned, this might not be good if like you tend to not like yellowy foundations doesn't look as yellow on than as it does in the bottle but if you're any paler than me i could see this being a little too dark i wish they did have a slightly lighter or less yellow shade but what are you gonna do it wasn't as bad as i was expecting it looks better i mean if you apply less or sheer it out more you could be good um the concealer really hasn't creased much like really hardly anything on this eye that you can see and just a tiny tiny bit on that eye and you really can't tell um, so other concealers lately have been creasing on me much much worse this you could just blend right back in I didn't even use a primer underneath my eyes like I normally do or set it usually I will put some powder right there so I could blend it out right now and it'll look fine usually I put powder right where that crease would normally happen to prevent that from happening so if I had done those I feel like that would have worked I like this concealer. It's pretty lightweight. It's not a ton, ton, ton of coverage. Um, I don't think it really claims to have a ton of coverage anyways. It did brighten my under eyes, I think. Um, it would be interesting to see how it would work on blemishes coverage-wise. I like it. I think I'm going to continue to use it. It's not blowing me away as much as I thought I would, but I do like it. It's good. It's not crazy good, but you know, it didn't crease or do all the awful things concealers have been doing on me lately. It looks pretty good. I think it brightened. I think it actually, yeah. It looks good. I'm going to keep using this. You did good, Wet n Wild Photo Focus. You did good. And this is a nice, cool toned, pale, pinkish shade, which in contrast to this was very interesting. Yesterday, I used that with a cooler toned pinky primer, this Wet n Wild one they don't make anymore. And it looked so funny on my face, the way it mixed with this yellow shade. It just looked like I had like the really brightened pinky streaks on my cheeks, but today I used kind of a warmer toned highlight. I didn't even think about how that would work, but I think it worked a lot better. Use the Mary Luminizer by The Bomb up here, and that's more of a goldy, so I think that works a lot better if you're using a cool toned highlighter. I think it might look funny on you, just because it mixed weird yesterday. So let's get even closer. Here's what the foundation looks like. It's not terrible. There's a little bit of shine that I would probably put more powder on top of, but Really not as bad as it was yesterday. Yesterday I was getting all this flakiness and weird separating, breaking apart action going on by my hairline. And today it just looks a lot better. It's coming off a little around my nose and down here, which always tends to happen. I was probably wiping my nose or something. It's kind of gathering in this chin crease, but overall it looks pretty good. I don't have much to complain about right now. Compared to yesterday, it was a lot worse. Trust me, it was a little embarrassing. I had to keep touching it up, kind of babysitting, but today it's doing a lot better. So I'm gonna have to keep playing with this, but it's pretty good. Again, it's good. 
Um, my skin's still mostly matte, which I'm pretty happy about. It looks really natural, looks really perfected. You can kind of tell I'm wearing foundation in real life because it's like, wow, your skin looks really good. Um, so yeah, if you like the way this looks on me, then you should try this out. Conceal and Perfect. I'm pretty happy with both of these actually. Usually when I try out face products, they're kind of a fail. Um, I'm just not used to this level of coverage and this sort of tone in a foundation. Maybe I've just been buying foundations that are too light. I don't know. This looks just like crazy to me. But I really like it at the same time, but my face looks really airbrushed. So yeah, this was pretty cool. And they're both at a pretty good price point. So I hope you guys enjoyed and that this was helpful. Let me know if you've tried either of these or what you think based on how they applied on me. Whether you like them, whether there's like a giant dry patch somewhere on my face this entire check-in I didn't know. And you're like, wow, that's not looking as good as you think L then uh, let me know give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if you're not already please subscribe to my channel hit that red button and you can even hit the little bell next to it to get notifications every time I upload a new video if you want to please check out some of my other first impressions videos I have a lot of other cruelty free and drugstore items I have a whole drugstore playlist I've been trying a lot of face products you guys might be interested in as well if you're looking for one and yeah I will see you guys in my next video this was fun I'm surprised how well this went I'm kind of digging this right now I kind of don't want to take it off also this swatch is like still on my hand it's really hard to get off I've been washing my hands but you really have to scrub it off so this might be a little hard to remove it's definitely a heavier coverage which usually means it's going to take more than one makeup wipe 